Welcome to the next in our series of TCP replay recordings. What I'd like to do is show you something that you can do in your own company to try to tune the NetFlow characteristic of what is the expiry time to use. Now an expiry of a flow is a timestamp that you have to put on that says, hey, I haven't seen the completion of this particular TCP session or UDP session or whatever, but I haven't seen any packets for a while, so I have to disregard it. But if you make this number too low, then what will happen is flows that have not really expired will be down as expired and your uh, flow count will actually go up. So uh, to do that, we're going to use uh, very much the same command we had before. Now I'm using something called big flows. And big flows is a little bit different. It's a larger file. We don't need to have as many options in here. And uh, big flows is a real capture of a network. And that's what you want to be dealing with, something that has realistic timestamps within it. And um, we can use a dash T option. We don't have to replay this at the actual speed that uh, it was played back at, because for, um, for this characteristic, what we're going to do is uh, look at the flows, but at, based on the timestamps or in the actual PCAP, uh, file, not in the timestamps that are bypassing or the time that is being played back. So the option we're going to do is called flow expiry. And when you have an appliance that is collecting flows, there'll be a setting in there. Often it's 30 or 60 seconds. I'm going to select uh, 30 seconds on this and just play back this file. Uh, with 30 seconds. So the report is a little bit different. You'll find that uh, our unique flows is no different than the flows that we used to report, but it appears that the flows that we're seeing with this particular expire is much higher than the unique flows that were uh, within this. So there were several flows that were expired here. Well, they really weren't expired. Those flows existed there. It's just we had a timeout too long. Some of these flows went to sleep for more than 30 seconds, then they start it up again. So let's try a, a higher expiry. And let's try to find a value that kind of makes sense for this company's flow rate. And because this is real traffic, you can start to see that we had, by going up to 60 seconds, we greatly reduced the number of um, expired flows. And um, the nice thing is that we can probably run at this rate and um, uh, although it's a little bit uh, more pressure on the hash table inside the flow system, it might not be able to run quite as fast with this, it's going to get more accurate results. So this is always a balance of accuracy versus, uh, versus uh, performance. So in this case, we hardly have any expired flows when we take it to two minutes, but you might, it's probably not uh, there's diminishing returns in here. And this is a five minute capture, so we can't go too high here, but uh, you can find as we're increasing this number that our expired flows get much lower and the number of flows that we are reporting is getting much closer to the actual flows that are in the file.